Hello everyone, Nev here. And I thought I'd do an update video because I haven't done one in a while. And I've actually added a lot of stuff to the game, which I never really told you guys about. So I thought I should show you guys what's going on. Because there's quite a lot. You might notice immediately, there are clouds. They were kind of an accent, but I think they're cool. <laughs> I kind of like them. Um, the way they move was supposed to be smooth, but this happened by accident when I was doing it, and I actually ended up really liking it, so I just went, you know what? Let's stay with that. That looks cool. Yeah. Giggity. <laughs> I also really did the physics engine. Like, I did the player physics all over again. But there's some issues with the new physics. Like, the new physics is faster. But there's just some issues with it right now I don't really like. So, for the demonstration, I'm using the old physics. But, yeah. I do actually prefer the new ones if I can just get them working properly. Like, they work, but... Sometimes, if the game runs a bit slow, you can clip into things, that's not nice. So yeah. And perhaps you might also notice that I've got a new UI in the game. Like, we have our little kind of boxes here. <laughs> our little menus. Right now I'm just showing some debug information, and it shows what I have selected, like, you know, dirt or grass. But, um... Yeah. I mean, I really... Like, obviously this game is done in 3D. There's no real 2D API I'm using, so I have to just kind of render my own 2D, so the font is just custom done in GIMP, just for, you know, it's very quick, nothing special. And I'm just making some boxes. I kind of like the style of it though, like I know a lot of people don't, but it's, to me, like, it feels like a SNES game or something, which I think is cool. And yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I also redid a bunch of textures, and like the dirt now looks a bit better against the grass, kind of loops up better. Also, the trees are redone. We have special tree textures now. That's always nice. And... Let me think. Oh, also we have a sand texture now. Before, the texture was kind of like a... I think it was just the water texture. And it really, really wasn't good. This is a bit better. Not perfect, but it's alright. It's a bit bright right now, but I'll probably just... Again, that's just all tinted in code, so that's easy to change. And yeah. So that's this. Again, also, apart from that, you might notice that we have... If I could find a good place to show you... Which probably won't. You'll notice as well the terrain is very different. Like before we had these tiny islands in an ocean. Like that was why there was so much water. But now we have oceans. Like we have these oceans but we also have continents. And in the continents we have these kind of rolling hills and these even areas. But we also have like mountains you know. And they're not just like big fake mountains like purposely put in. They're, the terrain just does that. Like that's how it works. I mean the terrain is made up of like kind of three different waves if you like. It's actually one noise pattern but like three bits of math to give you three different waves. And so you have a very kind of a... Um, you have one that's kind of just gives you like little hills and stuff. Then you have one that's quite extreme and gives you cliffs and kind of like big hills. Then you have the general one which kind of like says make a continent here. And that also contributes to give you mountains in the middle which is kind of nice. So yeah we're above the clouds now. You actually see now how flat the clouds are. <laughs> which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, I, The clouds I've done in like a few minutes. I just wanted to kind of throw something together, see how it would look. But I just, I really like it. I don't know why. It looks okay to me. It's weird that they're so low down, but I like it. And then, the other thing you might notice, we have biomes, indeed. I struggled with this for a long time because the algorithm I was trying to use was kind of a Voroni, Voronoi di diagram. No idea how you say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of complicated. Um, it's kind of above my head. However, I did sort of get it working, and I was kind of impressed by that. <laughs> and, like, my very, I, mine is not really Veroni, it's kind of a variation on it. But, and it's very simple the way it works, but it works, and so I get biomes. And so it basically draws these kind of, you know, odd kind of polygon shapes on the world in 2D. And that use, like, that's used to define biomes. So, like, you don't just get straight lines, you get, like, these kind of curves and stuff, that's kind of cool. Now, granted, as you can see, there are a few issues, like, here... There are some artifacting that happens where you get like just straight lines like that. I kind of want to fix that. I think I know why it's happening. But I mean, like I only put these in recently, so that's why I have that. And obviously the biomes sometimes are very close together, which is just because I've just thrown them in. I can very easily adjust the biome sizes and the variance and that sort of thing, so I should be able to fix that fairly easily. You'll also notice we have ice now in the snow biomes. And the sand is like a slightly different sand texture. I don't know, I think it works. Like the dirt's darker. I just figured like in the snow, like, the snow biome it would make sense if everything was like more kind of damp. And no. But yeah. There is a desert as well, but as you can see, it looks kind of strange. I mean, aside from the fact that it's beside the winter biome. <laughs> but it's... Like, it just uses the beach sand texture. 
And like that works fine for beaches, but in a desert, it's a bit strange because you can barely see. I mean, everything just looks the same. Like if I land here and you're running around, you can barely even tell you're moving. Like it kind of messes with your eyes. I mean, you sort of can, but even like my, I'm tearing up right now. Like that's that's how bad it is. <laughs> so like, let's get out of here. And of course, there are normal trees. I should really put cactus in here. I'm currently actually rewriting the biome thing right now, so I can basically define a biome and just say, here's the kind of blocks it uses, and like, here's the kind of structures to put in it, like trees and stuff. So I'll put in cactuses probably next update. And yeah, like, the reason there's dirt there is because the deserts right now are just a single layer of sand over everything. That was just because I was testing things. That's temporary. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually getting so many small biomes now, and they're all like really weird biomes together. But uh, yeah, it's really just a test right now. And that's a lot of ice. I don't know. I mean, aside from that, like, obviously I mentioned the UI, the font, the textures, the new physics. I've done a lot of work optimizing the game. It might not actually show because Fraps is killing my frame rate. Like, it's actually halving my frame rate right now. But um, it does actually run a lot faster in general. And, like, I have tested it and I've gotten, like, 60 at times, which is nice. Like, a, a decent render, like, a render distance. So, uh, I don't know. I think it's good. It's, um, I mean, it's hard for me to tell. My machine is good. It's not amazing, like, it's just, it's good. So, it'll really, I'll have to wait and see until, like, like do a release and everyone says, like, how bad it runs on their machines. I mean, this is not the kind of game that's going to run in your netbook, you know? It's just not going to. Um, like, even if you set it to tiny render distance like this. Oh, is that tiny? No, it is. Um, it will still probably struggle on netbooks and stuff, you know? So, I mean, Minecraft was the same when it came out. It got better recently because they rewrote the whole thing in C++. But, like, the rendering and all. But, like, right now, this is just not going to be the game to run in netbook, you know? It's something you have to accept. Um, I mean, I'll do my best, but I don't see it happening, to be honest, you know? Um, although, I, I obviously try and optimize as much as I can all the time. I mean, there was a time I was convinced that going up atop a mountain was lagging you, but now it seems fine, so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. And, yeah. It's funny making a game like this, because so many, like... A simple function is called so many thousands and thousands and thousands of times per frame. It's sometimes hard to figure out what's actually happening and what's slowing things down. But I don't know. I mean, right now, it's to the point where it's more playable. And I'm starting to feel like it's actually more of a game now, you know? I mean, you can just, you know, break blocks, place them, and that sort of thing. What I'd actually like to do is get, like, a really early release out. Um, I kind of have my own reasons for that. And I want to, like, get a release out, because, I mean... Myself, like, obviously I don't really play this as a game. I just kind of pop into it, see that it's working, and I'm like, great, that's great. But I'd love to kind of do a quick release, just, like, even for, like, you know, my YouTube subs, just to see if they can, you know, kind of, like, test it out, see if it's working for them. And even as well, if you could build stuff. I mean, if I, like, put this out and people build stuff, that'd be cool, you know? That'd be really cool. Um, I mean, it might be broken as all hell, keep that in mind. It's going to be a very, very early release. It could be terribly broken, but just to see it kind of out there and working would be cool. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I might try and do that. Like, in terms of what would be in that release would be basically just what you see here. Like, it would be very basic creative game. And, like, what I need to do before that is get saving working. Like, I have not really done any work on saving yet. It's very simple to do. But um, I just kind of left it to the last minute, so I need to get that all done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, and I just realized now I didn't actually change the dirt texture in the biomes. In fact, that's the dirt block from the grasslands, that's why. In these snow biomes. I can fix that very easily. Actually, what I'm considering right now is should I actually have a separate sand block there or have a, or just have the biome tint the block? Yeah. I could do it either way. Not sure. I just think this looks cool. Um, I mean, again, my screen has really weird colors, so I'm not sure, but on my screen it looks okay. So, if the colors look terrible, like, really, really bad, you can let me know, just don't be too critical. But, as I said, try and explain why they look strange, because, I mean, on my screen they look okay, that's all I can tell. I do have a very saturated screen, though, so if they look dull, that's probably why. Yeah, but yeah. So, apart from that, guys, that was kind of it, really. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update, let you know what's going on. I haven't done many updates recently, so I thought I'd do one. And, yeah. Apologies if I sound tired, I just am very <laughs> right now, so, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. See, I like it when it's like this, it, like, the biome kind of looks natural, apart from that damn corner! And, um, you see the clouds and stuff, yeah. I'll also let you turn clouds off, because they do lag a bit, but, yeah. Although, I've been running a consistent 30 frames, like, on fraps, so, eh, it's alright. I don't know. But anyway, guys, 
that's it for now. If you have any suggestions for stuff I should add for the like the first release, like blocks and stuff, do let me know. Apart from that though, um, nothing really. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this has been Neff, and I'll see you in the next update. And good day.